when I came to King's about six years ago, I realized there was a telescope dome on the roof and I finally got someone to take me out there and I realized it was in a bit of a state. But I did know that the most expensive part of fitting a telescope is having a dome there in the first place. The teaching fund were good enough to provide me with enough money to build a new, a nice new telescope and we're going to be putting it in the dome today. This is about the only part of Edo's record collection I can listen to. The rest of it's basically Bruce Springsteen. <laughs> oh yeah, come on, listen to that. We're going to incorporate this telescope into teaching. There are some really obvious ways, like it'll be used for projects and hopefully it'll be part of second year lab, but we'll, we're going to play that by ear. But we'd also like to use the telescope to uh, provide opportunities for other people in the college to get to know something. So we're planning on having events where we get a lot of people and we project down images from the observatory into a lecture theatre down below where there are people and then there'll be somebody there perhaps me, perhaps somebody else, talking about the images that we're looking at and talking about astrophysics in a wider context. Perhaps when you think of a telescope, you just think of taking pretty pictures of planets and what have you. But when physicists and astrophysicists use telescopes, they actually do things called spectroscopy, which is what we're going to do with the undergraduates. So you take light and you split it up into its constituent colours and you see what colours the light is composed of to work out what the object's made out of, what molecules and elements are in the object. So by using the telescope, we can find out uh, what things are made of. And when I was an undergraduate, I identified the presence of ammonia and methane in the atmosphere of Saturn, and that was a very good experience for me, and I want our undergraduates to have the same chance. Mm -hmm. 